San Bonani, says we the footing upon Swam Tom Kulu, La Pastor Zinda Bas Hai in Kondo, La Pastoni Pabatala, La Pastoni Pimvela Pier too. We are here under the storytelling tree one more time, where we honor the stories of our ancestors, where the ancestral spirits and stories and wisdoms come alive. We are sharing poetry here this morning. We are sharing poetry with women in poetry and power. I repeat that. Women in poetry and power. We've got young women here who've got special voices, who've got something to say to us. I'm Dr. Klinam Klope from Klinamasigo Arts and Heritage Trust, and we are sharing this amazing morning with you. Today, I'm not super happy. Today, the times are really, really difficult. We try to survive under COVID-19. We try to look at all the numbers of people that are uh, infected. We look at people that have tested positives, with people who are losing their lives, people who are crying, people who've lost their loved ones, who've lost uh, their elders. It, it is horrendous. The numbers are growing. It is hundreds of thousands. It's reaching millions globally, but there's another pandemic. There's another pandemic. Women and children, women and children, it's like there's no value. Women in poetry and power, here under the storytelling tree. Women, women, makosigazi, makosigazi. Let your voices be heard. Ninzalabantu, you are the life givers. You are the life givers, daughters of Africa, empresses and warrior queens. You have every right to be here as a happy, citizens of the human race. What is it that gives murderers and rapists such a special place on the sunny side of the street, protest, protected and forever said to be innocent until proven guilty? Police are forever investigating, investigating at a chameleon's pace. Magistrates granting bail at the expense of future victims. Justice Justice for some cannot be justice for all. Ninza Labantu, you are the life givers, nurturers, nation builders, the first teachers and instillers of self-love and confidence, celebrating every little milestone in a little child's journey through life. Fathers can choose to stay or run, but mothers, grandmothers, sisters and aunts, they have to stay to keep the fires burning for those little precious beings from the spirit world. Ancestors are reborn and recognized in the first smile. From birth to adulthood, we are nurturers. Sacrifices at every turn. Makosigazi, ninzalabantu, you are the life givers. You must declare a state of emergency. I repeat, a state of emergency. All the blood and tears drenching our soil, wailing voices, shattered dreams, and broken bodies by men who were born, loved, and raised by you. Erupting volcanoes of deep hatred, burning lava directed at the very source of recreation. The God-given gift of bringing life into the world is covered in disgraceful, abominable acts of war against women. A precious gift and privilege that, privilege that should be cherished and not extinguished. Woman destruction equals self-destruction for the whole of the human race. You are the life givers. You are here for a reason, to be happy and proud. I repeat, you are here for a reason, to be happy and proud and content in your efforts to uplift humanity. In the worst and the best circumstances, you are the bringers of light and healing powers are yours. The central place of hope for the future is embedded in your womb. Ever living, ever giving, creating and regenerating powers of healing every second. What is there not to love? What is there not to admire? 
Tell me what is there not to treasure, to honor, to shelter, to preserve. Ninzalabantu, Makosigazi, you are the life givers. All the hatred directed at you surely calls for a long overdue state of emergency. The most potent virus that is hurting, raping, and killing, and destruction of women heralds the end of the human race. Where are the angry voices and actions of men? I'm, to I'm not talking about voices of support. I'm not talking about dignified voices of intellectual interpretations. I'm talking about voices, voices that demand change with more fervor and urgency than the passion they display when they go out to war, armed to the teeth passion and wholehearted focus when they show their support and love for the sports, for gambling, acquiring riches, and rising to positions of power. Where is that fighting spirit to support and honor the woman race? Tell me, where is that fervor? Where is that passion? Where, where, where are the men? who want to march with us to a better future? Where are the men who want to be in the army of love and regeneration? Where are those men? You are the life givers. You deserve more. You deserve more. My name is Tando Fuze. I'm a poet based in Durban. And today I have chosen to celebrate Umama Makosa Zanakaba. Um, she is an award-winning author and poet uh, from South Africa. I will be reading from her book, Tongues of Their Mothers, and the poem is titled, To My Librarian. Bones, gifts under the tongue, Mampela Rampele, call me woman, moody, woman at point zero, no sweetness here, seeing voices, hearing visions, nervous conditions, things fall apart and they didn't die. The shadow of Imana, the black insider, the famished road, the wrath of the ancestors, the quiet violence of dreams, the screaming of the innocent, weep not child, love child, these things happen. When rain clouds gather, head above water, desperate, never been at home, mural at Metropolitan, juggling truths, living, loving, and lying awake at night, a life's mosaic, so long a letter, I write what I like, blame me on history, petals of blood, flames of fury, soul fire, gods of our time, the emperor, underground people, it all begins differently each time, drawn in color on covers, authors' names, publishers, ISBN numbers. My librarian knows it all. I watch her smile, wish I could read her mind. Her voice never high, her searches, her results. If not what I wanted, a better suggestion. Umenjalo, my librarian. Bones, gifts under the tongue. Mampela Rampele, call me woman, moody, woman at point zero. It all begins differently each time. My librarian opened doors to books I have known and books I have loved, to worlds I never knew and worlds I wish I knew. At each encounter, these hands receive and say, my librarian, this way, I salute you in our lifetime. I will be doing my own poem now, uh, titled Black Women Bodies. What happened when black women who have died more than once get to heaven, I imagine that all worship stops and all other women gather to await the coming of a storm. But it's all joy and ululation because death has become our saving grace. And as one woman arrives ushered by the greatest of her great grandmothers, she sits in front of a timeline of women fallen from her family tree. And with a sigh dragged from the back of her mouth, she says, I think we are gonna need more wine. Gabrielle has died more than eight times along with all her joy in bundles. 
Her body has kept her prisoner for decades for being woman. Convinced her arms are unwarm enough to cradle mankind, her womb couldn't stomach the scream of babies born of loud bones, of warrior descent. Babies born of a woman who holds power on her tongue. Another woman arrives, a gleaming light to a congregation of women singing Hosanna in the highest, my mother. A woman of the cloth fed us prayer when she realized that sometimes death is building entire worlds in the heart of another, only for them to set sail and settle in the backyards of other dying women to build crumbling castles in the air to play house and then step out and leave them, raising black Barbie dolls in broken homes, two women unsure of themselves. It showed in their steps, and as their innocence crept, they kept looking back at their fading dreams, too young to fathom how death found them, snug in the arms of their so-called lovers. Uzolile, not Jablile, their names sound like a quiet storm, unlucky to have stirred up a mess of a love. They woke sleeping Goliaths with not enough Davids in their throats. They died by the gun and fell at the feet of their men. One woman walked in a flame. She came flickering to her demise, followed by another, a massive explosion, a supernova. I guess it is true that some stars glimmer long after they have died. And maybe to die before you die is a synonym for black women bodies. I too have died in pages, on stages, in hallways, untwining my fingers from my lovers, too afraid of stares and slurs. I grew tired of loving with my art. Every lover, a metaphor. How could I dress my heart in such awkward attires of dissonance for such an honest love but how could I not my thoughts take flight and hover over the women of Kampala Nigeria the fall, the South, Africa has always raised her daughters with their heads held high, her hands still tied, her belly mined of her gold and oils and still remains the uproar of oppressed nations. Some women are born cities, they're skyscrapers, born to stand erect, to rewrite history. Some are synagogues, they are places of worship. Some women are igloos, incredible things of marvel. Some are oceans of holy, oceans of baptism reduced to blood rivers. We are walking monuments. But first, we are women, we are people, and we are not afraid of dying. Thank you. Sanbona, Kamalam Gingu Sindi Swa, Ulete African Wagazulu, Nzogwenza Inkonjo, Eshogo City, Kunisani Utando, by Umam Tunam Shop. Kunisani Ma Africa, Kunisani Utando, Alukine Utando, Luti Ngi. Ukisimusi awusho luto, uma singa tandani, singa zwelani. Abanye balala benga zile. abanye bekomba ngo parati. abanye bashonelwa ngabazali, abanye bayabatuka bayabazonda. Ingabe sokula ganjani magunje, sokula ganjani na. Ingabe sopumelela ganjani ma singa shonipi. So the tola pi na izibusi so ma singe na yo inkutalo no gubambisana. So pila ganjani uma singe na buntu futi singa tandani. Kenisani ma Afrika kenisani utando no guzwana kenisani utando ma Afrika ngiyabang. Ishago senko jengzo haya city kusasa kujengi pale luta tewe tumane. Ngenga yoguti ngifisu gumia la ngoguti aitande anga nagi umabanye bimkuguluza Ngenga yebala lake na ngenga nje yoguti uilo muntu au yena njongo basa zuguti Ingane uma ikula ishangabeza na nyamakama a negative ama ningi So lengonji maila na nalogo um. Kusasa Kusasa elikanya ngogufipala Ngizibona isibili kuwe Ebunzi nilako ngifunda ama pupo ami engeshulega ugua feza. Uma gunjalo. Imi huzugo yempilo sengi gushulele kuyo wakweme ama puta. Utatewenu usewa chezele. Umuse ngogunga pezu kogu pelele ndoni ya manzi. Unga vumi uma umshaba uti. Beunga muse kangono ukuba beukanya. Ngoba ekinsweni. 
Ubumnyama ilona langa letu esila zio tunjana kamama. Abazio bati ubumnyama kabukaze butalwe. Babu kona kwa sema parateni. Po unga bupigisa ganjani ubuyo ningu bezu kalo. Amesho ako afinga ikulu lezi nkonjo engige ngaziloba enze ibe inye. Nagulo nyaga utachewe nuka buyanga na luto. Ngapande kwe shumi lezi nkonjo ganye no luanze lwezi nyembezi za bebe la lele. Sale se ukeza ngazo utuli. Luse lute oluako ukalo. Ungavumi bagu kutule uinkanyezi wenya. Kanyaga kulu ebu mnyameni. Unga ipili impilo ngovalo. Ulibofuzo lwa maputa aluko kwa segutalweni kwako. Uintoso yogu karaza. Ziki zigano mkubuluana. Uikoko Nke ogute unga genzi luto. Kanga gana nike se ufeza ama pupo ako. Zolo liga sishaka no makeke. Ipimbo lako lingamula ugufa. Na mingi sola senga tisengi pilela ugugubuga ukula mbali. Kamama lapo beti baya kutanda. Unga koshwa ugubachela. Utatewenu wagutanda enga gazi ukuti kwa nfizio leo. Eyako ugutanda kusasa. Sa elise kula ungemi ngiabong. San Monani ika malami ukoli le Indonesia sembo wagamkizi sbongo. I'll be doing a poem titled "Unfinished Prayer" by Nabu Mashiani. God, if by any chance you reach my human world, where the veil of my struggle has followed my birth in the streets of Soweto to my childhood in the segregated mountains of Konko. If you were to reach my home among the wounded lips of Johannesburg, or from the blood-stained history of Azania, or from the beautiful dead flowers of Zimbabwe, or deserted brown deserts of Botswana near the green of Swaziland, below Zambia's waterfalls beneath Angola's hidden history, right into sand paintings in Namibia above the peak of the Malitu mountains of Lesotho or the Blue Sea of Mozambique. Remember a girl with sunburnt, twisted hair who has passed all borders of friendship. Remember her frame words weeping. Remember her flaming eyes dreaming or how they flicked in the rain. Remember how silence closed around the blossom of her smile. Stillness in her heart, inside her pain. Bring her back from fear. Fill her with words of hope for her people. Let her be free again. Thank you. The next poem I'll do is titled untold scars. When he came to me, he only came as a shepherd, offered some help, but intentions were those of a leopard. I feel used. He claimed to have been wrongfully accused. I'm confused, am I? Not the one who was mentally, emotionally, physically, and sexually abused. Emotional scars. I am bruised. I try to hide the pain, the hurt with a smile, but gradually I'm dying. These visions won't let me live. Please give me a second just to grieve. I jotted down my story, but no one seemed to believe. He only came to me as a shepherd, offered some help, but intentions were those of a leopard. I see dreams shattered, pieces of my own flesh scattered. Vultures have skinned me alive. Satisfying their needs was what mattered. Emotional and physical scars is all I have. I am battered. When he came to me, he only came as a shepherd. Offered some help, but intentions were those of a leopard. I'm just going to pen a word about my situation. I know the path I take will lead me to a wrong destination. I seek nothing but that justice prevails. 
But then again, sometimes a train hits an object and it derails just like a perpetrator who commits crime. Instead of going to jail, he is granted bail. I wish someone would believe me. Just let me tell my story, receive me. Maybe that could heal me, relieve me. I am somebody's daughter, I am somebody's sister. I am somebody's wife, I am somebody's mother. I am somebody's grandmother, I am somebody's mother-in-law. Please do not hurt me, but protect me. Before it is too late, save me. He only came to me as a shepherd, offered some help, but intentions were those of a leopard. Thank you. What the things in Africa? What the what the what's going on at all? Couldn't talk as la. I'm fun to be to try fina or um. Oh, plan a time and come and chat. Good here. We see this was good. Come along. In talk as I'm a keeper. Long way to take a man. See, pin the busy man. Tando fuse. I fuseli. I am talking about another powerhouse. Dynamite tongue as we born. In the only assemble keys. We call it like a lawyer. I am. Honored, I am amazed to be sharing the stage with these very talented powerhouses of my country. In Jersey, we're going to be joined by Natalia Molebazi. Don't joke, we are we are this. And then there's a Untomasaniaga Mabi. Ah, we Emma Mabi. We are Shesa Nai. So these amazing poets are sharing the power of poetry. These are women in power here on this stage. A reading for all our daughters. Listen up, child. I'm raising you to wake up and take a ride to any universe. Be the beauty of soul, sound, and energy. Create, my child, like you, the created. Earn the language of molding seeds into fruitful beings. I'm raising you so you too can raise me, infant of my skin. Reveal chapters the two of us are yet to learn and believe me, child. Some of the rules I've run into can save your soul, so listen up, child. Be yourself or don't wake at all. Life is not for the feeble. Are you ready for the fires of time that only life alone can extend her long arms to light up? If so, clothe yourself with ancient selves who knew before we did that you, the future, will be born into this crazy but jazzy scene called living. Rise and let the world know you are here to claim no sense, no sin, but only the waking and dream-dripping sun of each dawn. Never wait for time's breath to blow into your lungs. Rather bloom from the dust we rose from like mystics to grow your own wings and be sure to ask for strength between these wings so they don't split in pieces and halves. Cause child, I'm raising you to be whole. Paint your lives every day in ways not forced on you. But reflections felt by you, cause none but ourselves can blow up a true self that is everything there is to be. Raise your story's voice to go beyond any beyond and beat any ghost that could suck out your way up to clouds of choice. Have sacred communion with the past that is not to, to your present. Cause child, any presence that lacks a past is part of the lost. So listen up, child. Listen close, cause you're a sister and I'm a sister. Remove your walk from exhausting arms of men, talities who can't take a strong sister and white supremacies who still believe we're strong enough only for taking instructions. And child, I'm still tasting the bitter truth. I'm learning that not every woman is a sister. So listen up, girl. Listen up. Bloom of my belly, infant of my skin. Never step into boxes. These aren't enough to hold our stories alive. Rise to the knowledge that our people and theirs a tapestries sewn long and wide enough to hold you up till you can uphold yourself. Never forbid your truth in spaces that strangle our realities. 
Rise, child, your vision is our voice. I have labored to challenge convention, beat conviction on my soul, scrubbed the floors of my heart, tended the soil of my womb, so the fruit of my garden would be like you, child. Child of mine, beautiful beyond magic herself, I stood guard at the entrance to your ride to usher you into these arms, bosom, and back that I'm raising you to fly beyond. So listen up, child. I'm raising you within the rain you were made of. Walk to the knowledge that you are everything that is musical. Mogi, o akile mo me kupolong yabato. Ibile mogi, o tala akudisa mafogo. Mogi kimo tamae le molatlehe o bileng ai pona kaza hanti nti mo di papusing tama kupolo yaruona. And the poet is a rebirth of wonder, where change and healing are possible. Fargalebala, Jaga Bahi, Barada, Holebala. Mebele Ena, Yarona, Jaga, Metia, Le Watle, Le Matlapa, Ateng, Etana, Eles, Hopozo, Sarona. And the poet is the people, and the people are the earth, the sky, and the life force that our ancestors danced and died for. Boko enu ebidi wang yaha melba. Ikwe tu iki profesa ki urapezi wili kosi zile. En khapile maikutlo sekolo tata khone. Profesa kosi zile ine ili mogi li mokwadi onen arada arutweza ibile atlompa bomne. Ia jana. Yahamelba Moso Utseha Muli Tong Lahaho Jaga Mutsu Odi Tong O Hapile Kemotsehare Osa Feling Me Hotuhama Banning Ketaha Kisatsuala Sepe Jaga De Mani Ya De Manning Ketleti Jaga Limpo Pomoraho Hapula Kibina di tate ho zaha ho zedin zinzi. Twisted and tangled with the tides of time, yet your tears have still not met the ocean. Trying to make time whole when everything has been slithering through its holes. In search of freedom, you have forgotten the goodness of grace. Live on the outskirts of it and feed on its crumbs. How long will you eat of Egypt? Shut the pleas of the milk and honey land to trust its light and not your eyes. Morning by morning, you've been mourning the loss of you, yet hope has sustained you longer than your lungs have. In a world that looks yet not sees, what is hope if you can see it? Many ask, what are you running away from whilst you are trying to run into you? When last did your eyes gaze inwards? Every moment of waking has been surging self-human back into being. Like the butterflies of first encounters, laced with excitement, the mystery of encountering you. And how do you metamorphose without shedding dead weight? Even in Demetrium's time, a bloody waterfall out of this confinement, how do you metamorphose without shedding skin? This is not bleaching, child. Every separation helps piece together the broken pieces with that one more time kind of faith. The life of anything is in itself. In death, birth yourself. That is a piece which I have written during this moment of uh, COVID-19 lockdown. And it is so much my go-to piece to say that even in the midst of everything going on, learn to birth in one way or another in the midst of death. The next piece which I'm about to do is by Mbutla Nawabo Fellow, who I had the utmost privilege and pleasure of meeting at a poetry festival uh, about two years ago. 
and this piece is titled Malakabe. Le rato le na ke mollo. Mosi wa lona ha o hloke patsi le dishu hore o kunkele. O thunya ka pelong. Ha ke batlo go bua ka Malakabe. Mashala lona ke ya tshaba. Ke nna ona ka molora. Le njelela Yeah, that was a balancing of life and death in certain things. Dr. Gunam Flope, thank you so much for this opportunity. My name is Ms. Emma. Today, we are celebrating National Women's Day, August the 9th. We're honoring the mothers, the grandmothers, all of those powerful women, 20,000 strong, who marched to the union buildings in Pretoria. But it is 2020. We are playing our role as we celebrate here. We are not just talking about what they did. We are talking about what we are contributing to the land of our forefathers and our foremothers. And I'm proud to be on this stage under the storytelling tree with powerful storytellers, poets, women who are having a voice, who've got something to say. Yabona, we are celebrating because we were born to be creatives. We were born to celebrate what we were given by the Almighty. These are the riches that we bring, the treasures that we bring to our nation and the rest of the world. But we are not safe in this world as you have seen some of the content. <laughs> We were not born to cry. We were not born to mourn. We were born to celebrate the gift of being women. We need to love, to love, to nurture, to celebrate. As if funi is in yembezi. Segwenele. Uluan lel kwen. Siabong.